Hey everybody, welcome to this edition of the Outdoors Dan Video of the Month. And turkey season is fast approaching and I just wanted to take a few minutes here to answer some emails and put on the webpage and Facebook as well for everybody. Hope uh, First of all, whenever we talk about any hunting situation, remember to plan your hunt, hunt your plan, let's keep everybody safe. And one of the main questions I've been getting is about turkey calls. What calls do I really need to take and I'm on a budget, what can I do to save some money? Well, the first thing I can tell you is the one call that I necessarily say you have to have with you is a box call. If you have a windy day, no other call carries as far as a box call and it really is a, a hunt saver if you don't if you have one in your pack because if it's windy and they can't hear you, what chances are if you have one coming in? Second one is how can I save some money without having to buy a bunch of different calls? Well, you know what? If you can just get your a really nice, good quality uh, friction call like I got here, you know they'll come usually with a striker. Some will come with a mouth call too. But if you get yourself a a good friction call with a carbon striker, and then get yourself a couple extra strikers with you. Get a couple more wood. Get a wood with a carbon tip. Every one of those are going to have a different pitch or sound to them, and you're going to sound like a different hen. So you can use just one pan call and several different strikers while you're calling and sound like multiple hens. That That's what I do, and it, it works pretty well. The third tip I get about is broadheads. What broadhead should I use? What shouldn't I use? And, you know, the, the best way for me to answer that question is just use what you have confidence in. Myself, I use two different types of broadheads when I'm turkey hunting, both by Magnus broadheads. One is the bullhead, and this is designed for to take head shots. I mean, it will take a turkey's head clean off. And it, it's it's very effective, and it's good out to 18, 20 yards, and very accurate. And this is just basically used on the same gold tip shaft that I use for all my hunting. It uh, I use a little longer shaft when I shoot, just to be a little more accurate. Cost me a little bit of speed, but not much. But it allows me to use these bullheads very effectively. And I took two nice toms a couple years ago with them on the show, and they didn't go anywhere. The second one is just my regular broadhead that I use when I'm hunting, and that's my stinger broadheads. And I tell you, there's three shots that I like to do, like on that tom right behind me there. I like to take a broadside shot straight up the legs, middle, upper third of the bird. That's where their vital pocket is. And you got about an area about the size of a softball that you're shooting at. So there's not a lot of margin for error. So you want to make sure that you're in that vital pocket. And if you get them there, they're going to flop right down. Always shoot for that upper third of the bird. If they're strutting straight into you, aim about an inch, an inch and a half above the uh, beard towards the carnicles. And if you hit them there, they're not going to go anywhere. They're going to flop. The third shot, and there's just no other way to say it it's a, to be as delicate as I can, you want to shoot them in the behind. That's a Texas hard shot. And they will if they're in full strut and they're walking away from you, the good Lord gave you a bullseye, use it. And that bird's going to flop right there for you. You won't have to worry about chasing them. So there's just a couple quick ticks, uh, tips. Now, don't remember, ticks are going to be bad this year. We've had such a mild spring. I've already found a couple. So just make sure you're wearing that game high to limit tech clothing. And make sure you're using the socks, the pants, and the shirts. And uh, if you're not, make sure you're spraying down. I tell you, I, I haven't sprayed down in, I don't know, three or four years now. And that's because I've been using uh, the Limitech products. And it really does a great job of help uh, keep the, the ticks off of me. So, you know, we don't want Lyme disease. You don't want to mess with that. So get you some Limitech clothing at Sportsman's Warehouse. And I promise you, you'll be glad you did. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this month. If you uh, have any comments or if you have a couple more questions, just go to OutdoorsDan.com. My email's right there. Hopefully, we'll see you on one of the radio shows on 1460 KXNO or News Radio 1040 WHO or back in St. Lou on the Big 550 KTRS St. Louis. Or uh, Outdoors Traditions TV will be starting July on Fox Sports Midwest and Fox Sports KDSM in Des Moines. So we'll have them both, uh, both on two networks for you to take advantage of. Till then, we're all in it together. Be good to one another. Until we meet again, God bless everybody, and we'll see you next time right here on OutdoorsDan.com.